Hey everybody and welcome to What's up? the Dice Hour Origins preview. We're going to do kind of what we did in the past where we took a look at the Origins book and if all of our studio equipment is working properly, you can see the Origins guide and it's absolutely gorgeous cover. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with so, that description. Uh, we will be taking some questions um, as time goes by, but what this is is just kind of a stream of thoughts. Uh, Sam hasn't seen this book at all yet, right? I have not. I haven't looked at it at all, so this is kind of going to be just, just first impressions for me. I briefly glance at it, so this way we give you your first impression. So first impressions is the cover. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like somebody threw up. I don't get it. What's the theme of Origins this year? Um, they have a theme every year that never matters. Aztec magicians that... Well, if you're the artist, I apologize that we don't like your work. Yeah. The wolf is good. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, then Mayfair has an advertisement. Come play their games. Although I am interested, actually, in Baron Park and Cave vs. Cave. Yeah, Cave vs. Cave is, is one that I'm looking forward to. I haven't been able to try it yet. Iron Dragon is uh, interesting because it's uh, one of those crayon rail games, mm -hmm. I think. And it's fantasy. It's crayon rail? Yeah. Okay, but it's fantasy. Oh, Dragons is the theme. Wait, wait, go back to the, go back to, come on, dra, there's no, dr that's a fairy dragon, and that's a, um, uh, a Chinese dragon in the background, maybe, hmm, and then Mayfair is selling Iron Dragon, <laughs> oh, now right. I see, all right, what does he say here, blah, 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 Tom, blah, blah, Tom, your mic sounds off, I think your voice is being picked up by my microphone, uh, test it to see if it's on, Oh, I got it. Low, low, low. Yeah, but make sure they're both on one and two. Tom's mic is weird. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if that changes anything. All right, well, if, if, if we keep getting that, then we can fix the mic. Anyway, what does he say in this intro thing? Vote for the Origins Awards, the exhibit hall, basically just telling everyone how awesome they are. Table of contents, show schedule and highlights. Not a lot of show thing. Registration starts at 7 a.m. on Wednesday. Wow. You'll be there, right? Nope. We will be in the hall. Uh, start, we're going to be recording, actually, starting at 9 a.m., but uh, people come in the hall at noon. So at noon, come by and say hi to us if you're there in Hall D. So registration, Origins Award, they have that in a big giant red box. We'll be there too. Union Station B. They say the mic is better now, so good. All right. First time at Origins. Should I pre-register for the convention? Yes. Although it's funny, every year it switches. <laughs> if you pre-register some years, you wait in a super long line. Yeah. And if you register, so then people are like, oh, next year I'll just register. <laughs> and then it, it flips. So last year I think the pre-registration line was super long. Well, wow, the registration line was well, fast. Well, last year they also had a problem with uh, Windows 10 update or something like that. That's right. They and, turned on the computers and it forced an update. Yes, <laughs> and that just threw everything off. So it really wasn't their fault last year. Microsoft! <laughs> Should you pre-register for events? No, I don't think so. Maybe if there's like an event you really want to do, bring some generics and just jump into events. Yeah. Can you just show up and play games? Yes. Generics are $2 increments. But I bet you most, that's the one thing I don't like about Origins is that like in that main hall D, if you want to sit down and play a game like an Eagle, they're supposed to charge you a generic for it. Huh. Really? Well, you're not getting a demo of the game, you're getting the whole game. How much is the boardroom this year? I don't know. Oh, let me see. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, I know. Didn't it used to be like five? How much is the Dice Tower area? Of course, we don't have room for hundreds of people. No, either. we don't. Yeah. <laughs> you got <laughs> to be there close. first. Um, all right, so let's jump down here. Anti-harassment policy, a big page on that. Anti-harassment kind of policy. Is it harassment? I think it's one of those words where you can go either way. It's unfortunate the that proper, we need a whole page of this. The proper way is harassment, but everybody pronounces it harassment. So There's important things. Rules for dragons and not dragons. Thanks. Food and beverage. Don't eat. Don't eat in the convention center, right? Go outside to eat. All right, there you go. There's your origin store. 
Will you get that T-shirt? That T-shirt actually looks pretty good. It is light years better than the front of their program. <laughs> All right, so we got Origins Volunteers. Thank you. Driving information and parking. We can ignore that. There's downtown Columbus. That looks like a headache. Well, we've been to a lot of this is stuff. Is that all the blue water? No. <laughs> no. Um, okay, there's the convention center there. And that short north arts district is where we walk to when we go to Melts and the toy store there. Okay. And I've never actually been to any of the rest of this. I heard that there's some good food in the German village. I've heard that there's good German restaurants down there. We should go there this year. We say that every year. Um, well, there's still that place that was on uh, Man vs. Food that I've been petitioning you to go to for the last two years. And we have yet to go. Well, this is there's only so much time. <coughs> Local dining. Where there's a will, there's a way. Food court shops. The food court is not a terrible food court. Yeah, that's true. And it actually is pretty good for breakfast. Yeah, the chicken and eggs place has a pretty good breakfast. Um, uh, a lot of good breakfast uh, options. They're not, they're not cheap, though. Um, you can pretty much expect to pay regular food court prices, I guess you could say. Well, hopefully your hotel has a... Uh, Ten bucks for a, for, for a meal, probably. Pretty and close there's to a that. North Market. Amazing. You must go to the North Market at least once. Then there's Barley's Brewing Company, which... I've been to Barley's. That's that restaurant right across the street. That's a pretty good place. Oh, there. it is? Yeah, okay. the hamburgers. And then they have... Oh, okay, yeah. Fast food, uh, ice cream... How can they have ice cream, though? They don't mention Jenny's. Yeah, it's a shameful. Major, shameful. major faux pas there. Across the street, Barley's Brew Pub. I've eaten there. Japanese Steakhouse? I thought that closed. Ooh, if it's back open, we're going. <laughs> uh, Max and Irma's. Yeah, I've been there. Now, okay. see, that's the dragon that should be on the front of their cover. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yes, okay. That's probably true. The arena... District. Well, and actually, if you go find the arena, which is around the corner from the Origins, there's actually some good restaurants there, too. There's a good um, uh, Mongolian barbecue, a Brazilian steakhouse. There's some good restaurants over there. Nationwide is on your side, baby. We made that joke every time we walk by it. I'm going to make it when we walk by it again. All right. Origins and then craft brewing. Yay. Here's the exhibit hall. All right. So the biggest booth in the exhibit hall is cool stuff. That's awesome! Uh, it's really, but really, there's no humongous booths at Origins, at least in Hall C. This is the e exhibit hall. So you can see kind of just in here, there's the artist area in the back, which is good. It's not nearly as cool as the uh, Gen Con one. But then there's a bunch of small booths all over the place. Now be careful because a lot of these booths are going to be Kickstarter guys who are going to try to, to, to they, they're, they're like fishing. They're like sitting there, here comes a guy. <laughs> They pull you in, they're like, hey, do you want to back our Kickstarter? That's not started yet. It's coming out in September, the Kickstarter. Um, but the exhibit hall for Origins is a good size. You can go through it in a day. Unlike Gen Con, you can easily do Origins and be done with it in a few hours almost, probably. Yeah. Wow, Dust, Dust Games has a pretty big... They, I don't know why, they just kind of stuck out. Yeah, most of the stuff's where yellow is in here, where they normally are. <coughs> Decision games, Real Ground, Whiz Kids, Arcane Wonders, Catalyst, Catalyst <laughs> 2. Legit Magic the Gathering. Not the bootleg stuff. Well, this the, is the legit MTG, yo. That's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B games is a big booth. Yeah, wow. North Star games, really? Yeah, so that's now here's half too. of Hall D, okay? So here in Hall D, this, you can see that True, True Dungeon, Dungeon is now a huge section. That's where the miniatures were, if you remember, last year. So I have right. no idea where the miniatures are going. Um, and you, the booths in here are much bigger. If you look down in the corner, you'll see Wiz Kids booths big. This area right here Games Workshop. is part of the boardroom. So down here is the rest of it. Yeah. So the boardroom is pretty big. And it, the boardroom used to be in this corner here. Oh, that's where the, oh, there's 40K origin. So I guess that's where they moved the miniatures to. I wonder what got cut out uh, with True Dungeon coming in. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you. So right here, summer preview, that's where we are. So we're between Eagle Griffin, Yellow, Mayfair, and this is WizKids. So it's really easy to find us. If you walk in the hall, you're probably coming in it's one the same of these space we were at doors. last year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come in one of these doors, and you will see us. Yeah. You'll see our sign because Yellow doesn't block us. And Mayfair, you should be able to see around Mayfair to get to us. If you come in this door here, which connects to the, 
to the hall. To the exhibit hall, exhibit hall, hall C, yeah. then you just come straight down and you'll see us around the corner. So That's cool. Looks like all these um, places here are the same as last year. May Day was there, Stronghold was there, Catalyst was here, Weight Wizard. I don't really see anything new. Is there, can, you go, can you go back up again? So WizKids. Um, I'm not seeing Gale Force 9. Gale Force 9 was right over in this um, area. Oh, yeah, you're right. As well. Uh, I don't see Gale Force well, 9. Well, there's Game Base 7. No, that's not Gale Force 9. <coughs> huh, you're right. They were right around the corner there. Huh. Well. Interesting. Yeah, they're probably Reaper Minis. Somewhere. Reaper Minis, White Wizard. I think Reaper Minis was there last year. There's the paint and take area now is there. Didn't that used to be in Hall C, or did they move it to Hall no, D? No, it was, it was pretty close to there last year as well. Sam's going to run over there. Paint men come back. Run over <laughs> nope. Run. So here's all the sponsors, I might which do means a new they one, paid though. a lot of money. Um, same sponsors as normal, usually. Cool Stuff is a sponsor, I can see. Games Workshop's a sponsor. That's that new? It feels like it's new. Wow, look at all these sponsors on here. So very many. Then the WizKids Championships of the World, or the Championship of the U.S. are here. For, oh, and the Dice Masters World Championship is here. Hero clicks in that, and there's a lot of people playing those. Mm -hmm. Tournaments at Origins. As you can see, WizKids holds all their big tournaments there, and so does Yellow, holds their King of Tokyo National there. Here's a new Catan scenario. It's for Catan Seafarers. Huh. It's four link scenarios. You can now play Catan Legacy style. I don't think it's Legacy, but it's campaign style. Interesting. Everyone's talking about how Legacy is the new thing, but I think campaign style is, is where a lot of stuff's happening. And when I say interesting, I mean... You like a ton, though. Oh, no, you don't like a ton. But you might like it with a, a, a theme behind it. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how it works out, yeah. All right, so we got some guest of honor, designer guest of honor. Julie this is a sculptor. Uh, I wonder. Kreiter? See, I can't tell because the they Kreiter? put. I don't know. How they put Julie that. here as a sculptor, and they show their sculpts, and then they have the origins thing here. Uh -huh. Did they sculpt the origins award or not, or is that just there to say? I can't tell. I I, I don't know. Right. I mean, if if that. that it's is this the first entry in this section, though? Yeah. Well, that might just be... See, I don't know. Artist guest of honor, Heather Kreiter. What has she done? CCG Doomtown. Okay. My Little Demon. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Margaret Weiss, who has written some of my favorite books. Yeah. I love those three books they showed there. The Dragon series is Dragonlance easily Chronicle. one of my favorite fantasy series of all time. And then we have an RPG thing. I'm so surprised that they don't bring in, they're just like Gen Con, really. They, they still don't bring like a board game designer in, which I think is really weird considering how much board games is of these conventions now. I guess so. I, I have no problem with them bringing in, um, bringing in you know, an RPG designer. I just wish there was someone with board games. But it's not that big of a deal either. Critter Care. Let your kids be watched at Origins for you. <laughs> That's what they call their kid care, critter yeah. care. Now, if you look here in this quiet, under quiet room, and you can see that on the thing, right? Yeah. Okay, under quiet room, you'll notice here it's showing these different areas. It shows you where the quiet room is. There's Catan room, Union B station, and Pokemon family room. That Union B station is where our show is on Saturday night. All right, so Union B station, just remember that. It's right around the corner. Um, all right, American Red Cross, give blood. I can't. You know, I've always, to me, giving blood at a convention seems like the not best time to do it. Yeah, because you're already, like, drained. You, you really are. I mean, I think you should give blood. <laughs> drained. See what I did there? <laughs> they should have, like, vampires manning all the stuff. <laughs> Guys in vampire costumes. Come in! We want to... <laughs> but... But I just that you're like so drained already. I mean, really, you're just tired and exhausted. Giving blood does not make you feel better. Right. But I mean, I, it's, I, it's a I good can't. Thing to do. I, was, I was in Germany for the wrong year as well when they had a uh, mad cow disease breakout, and so I can't give blood anymore because stuff, I guess. I don't know. I've tried before, but they won't take my blood. So there's a new family room sponsored by Pokemon. You can go in there and learn games with kids. So that's from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That sounds good. You know, if you have kids, go in there and play games with them. Yeah, that's cool. Electronics game room. 
you're at the wrong convention! <laughs> now, if you want to go play electronic games, go for it. Pokemon. That looks like Sun kind of a, and Moon. That Guardians. looks like a mean Rising. Pokemon, doesn't it? Yeah, he does not look happy. All right, Hall of Fame. So Who got added? Well, they're not going to tell us yet. Huh. These are the members of the Hall of Fame, so let's see how many of them we know. John Nephew, Kevin Symbiata did... Um, he, uh, John, Kevin Symbiata did uh, Riffs and um, Heroes Unlimited. Okay. Monty Cook, RPG. Lauren Coleman is from Catalyst, wrote some um, books on Battletech. Let's see, Sid Saxon and Alan, Alex Randolph, both board game designers. Alan Moon. Who's that guy? Eh, some dude who made a board game. Oh, okay. Jolly Blackburn. Not too many uh, board game designers on here, though. Ryan Knizia in 2004. You just passed Klaus Teuber. Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. Oh, man, sorry, sir. <laughs> um, R.L. Salvatore is a book writer. I know right. him. David Cook. John Kovalik. I just met him at UKGE. Very nice man. Peter Atkinson is Gen Con. Yeah. James Ernest, Margaret Weiss, Tracy Hickman, they're the two authors of the right. Dragon books. Yeah. Larry Elmore, he's the guy who did all that art for Dungeons and Dragons. Correct. Richard Garfield. Richard Berg. Wow, they have Richard Berg and not Richard Borg? Come on, guys, get with wow. the program. Still not a ton of, well, I guess he's a Hall of Fame. These Gary are people Gigan. Yeah, he's a 1980 thing. Huh. It's interesting. Who do you think they'll add this year? We'll just make up a random name. <laughs> um, who's like been, who's like big in the industry? Well, we have to pick board games because we don't know enough about other people. Is, is, is Stackpole on here yet? No. I think they're going to add him at some point. Michael Stackpole. Eric Lang. Nah, it's too new. Hmm. Maybe. Who has done like a game that's maybe Donald Vaccarina for Dominion? I don't know, though. People don't really know his name that well. Right. Eh, we'll see. Origins University. This is something that used to be a lot bigger and people don't go to anymore. But Origins University was uh, where you would go and you could go like listen to lectures on guys talking about the ballistic missiles in the North Sea in 1965. I'm not kidding. That would be like how specific some of the things were. Huh. And a lot of people go and they would listen to these. Um, we we are, are not probably going to go to any... I might. <laughs> I was tied and drugged and made. No, to... I would actually go to these things if I was not. If like, let's say it was down the street. Yeah. I was like, oh, I got an hour to blow. I'll go listen to some lecture, yeah, right? Yeah. But not at Origins, man. No, I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's. It's not that I don't like that type of stuff. It's just that I'm. That's not what I'm at Origins for. That's all. Dragons is a new magazine to pick up with different things. Did I get it last year? I don't know. Origins Librarians. Hmm. Oh, these are the book writers. So they got Margaret Weiss, we already knew that. Timothy Zahn, who's an extremely nice person. Uh, Michael Stackpole. And let's see, do I know any of these other names on here? I probably should, but I probably don't. Who, who are the Origins Librarians? I think they're like the authors they bring in, and then they like sell their ah, books. Okay, I think they're okay, just calling okay. it that. Gotcha. Origins Art Expo. Origins. That's always fun to walk through and look at. I usually don't buy anything because it's too expensive, but the works of art in, in, in there are really cool. Well, I'm going to give props to Tina Bongorno at booth 662. Why? The big dice guy, she made that. Oh, really? Yeah, she's, does, she's doing all our Dice Tower logo artwork, and That's she cool. did a fantastic job. I walked through her booth last year, and it was really neat. So, so go, go check her out. I'm curious what your thoughts are here in this game. Sword and Sorcerer, I hate the name. And, the, and the, the, the wording. It looks like it's from the 80s. Well, I think that's probably what they're going for. Yeah. They're, they're trying to evoke those tropes. But, um, I mean, it, it looks, looks cool. This was on my uh, most anticipated, like, last year. Um, what, what, what were we going to? I can't remember. Uh, I want to say it was, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Essen last year. And oh, this was on your list for that? Yeah. Yeah, and, and I didn't see it there because I didn't get a whole lot of time to walk around the gargantuan expo hall well, that's there. you have time, but it's also very exhausting, right? <sighs> it's like, let's walk. You know what? Let's go back to the booth. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I'm, I'm look, I, I'd like to take a look at it. I mean, the, the price seems 
Well, hopefully they bring it by our booth. Well, 80 Basic. bucks is expensive, yeah, but no, I mean, you're getting I mean, a lot of miniatures. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. It, it seems like it's going to fit. I like the name of this one. This belongs in a museum. I think that's a cool name <laughs> for a game. Right. And their last game, Element, has been getting a lot of buzz. Well, yeah. I see it has a Dice Tower Seal of Excellence. That yeah. must be from you. No, it's from Z. Z really liked it. Did you like it? Oh, I, no. I haven't actually been able to try it yet. Oh, we need to play it. I hear, I'm hearing like a lot of well, good... Well, Z played it, reviewed it, and he kept it. Z Garcia! By the way, he's, he'll be at Origins too. Yeah, he will be. <laughs> he's just not here this morning. Yeah. Solaris, 12 Thieves, Metro. We just, we just we saw just, all three of those. We just got those three in today. <laughs> now yeah. he's opening them all as we speak. Near and far, Red <sighs> Raven. Amazing. That's cool. Renegade is Flip Ships and Sentient. Whatever, it's Renegade. I assume they're good. So just, Ares will have sword and sorcery, Immortals. Yep. Immortal Souls, okay. Daily Magic has Merchants of Araby. Daily Magic is the people making um, all the Valeria games. Mm -hmm. That's probably in subtitle, Merchants of Araby, a Valeria game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just looking at this game yeah, from Devere, yeah. Urban Warfare. Has some, a lot of miniatures in it. I don't know much more than that. Mm -hmm. Yellow has a couple expansions for Arena Steam for Park. the Gods. Ooh. We just played that live last yeah, week. We so did. if you like monster smashing it's, it's basically like a uh, cross between Ultimate Warriors and King of Tokyo. Except at the beginning of the game, you can customize your character. Right. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. So there's variable player powers on top of it. Uh, Bubbly Pop. I played that. That's um, one of those. It's like a, a game based on uh, those games you play, like a Bejeweled type stuff. Oh, okay. Pit Crew, Terraforming Mars. Pit Crew is Jeff Engelstein. Expansion for Terraforming Mars. Mm -hmm. Cottage Garden, which is great. Frog Riders. I don't know. What was your opinion on Frog Riders? It was, it was okay. I mean, I, I've only played it the once at the gathering, you know, when, when me, you, and Z, and who else was pl playing with us? Um, can't remember who it was, but it, it, was, it was okay. I, I, I need to play it again to solidify my I think it's better with fewer players. Probably um, so, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's almost over too fast. You're like, eh, and that's the game. Mm -hmm. Why is not... Robits from Quick Simple Fun. Why are these in a separate, like why is Quick Simple Fun up there and then and they're then down uh, here again? And like, why is there a Stronghold game down here? Maybe. Oh, these are card games. The first one were board games. Oh, okay, gotcha. The Fox in the Forest, Kitten Clash, and Ooh. Get the Cheese. We have Get the Cheese, but I haven't played it yet. Well, at least not Cut the Cheese. Family Silver, uh, Quick Silver from Family Games. I just played that one. It's an interesting game for kids where you are Pulling things out of a bag by feel and placing them on a board to score you mean points. Captain Silver? Captain Silver, what did I say? You said Quicksilver. Well, that's, that's a guy who's fast. <laughs> Quick Pick Mutant Dinosaur game Park. Man, Ares has like three games. That's very rare for them. Then Plan cool, B is though. Century Spice Road and Junk Art. Wider audience, what that means is it's the new Junk Art that's not the, as, I think they're more plasticky pieces, I'm guessing. Hmm, okay. Accessories. Meeple really is Yokohama Harbor. That's for the Yokohama game. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Evil Hat production role playing. Okay. Origins Awards nominees. All right. Let's see these. All right. So we have Blood Rage, Clank, Cry Havoc, Feast for Odin, Islebound, Mansions of Madness Second Edition, Scythe, Star Wars Rebellion, Terraforming Mars, and World's Fair 1893. I think that it's a really is, solid. That is a solid list, especially in comparison to like five years ago. That is like night and day. <laughs> it is really. But which one do you think? So I think for, <coughs> I think for the, um, the committee, the, the people who are on the board, I'm going to go out of my, on a limb and say that Clank is going to win. And I'll tell you why I think Clank will win. Because I think that it has, when you look at the Origins boards, Renegade is very involved there. A lot of stores do this. There's RPG people involved. That's mm -hmm. why I think Clank will win. Okay. Um, and I think the people's choice is going to be Scythe. Although Scythe really? going up against Blood Rage and Star Wars Rebellion and Terraforming Mars. That's like, <laughs> you wow. know, who knows which one will win, yeah, really. That is, a, that is a very crowded market, yeah. I mean, even Clank could win just because it's so easy to play. True. But see, that's the thing. I, I would probably pick... Um, Scythe would not be one of the ones that I pick because it's not as easy to play as the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. And Star Wars Rebellion, pretty much the same way. But I don't know. Well, I mean, there's because so that stupid many Star Wars people. thing in front of it, though. And yeah. last year, people checked those up. All right, card games: Dream House, Fabled Fruit, Kanagawa, Kodama, Lo Lotus, Mystic Veil. Vale, oh my goods! The Big Book of Madness. This is definitely also, not as 
it's not as strong as the board games. No, but it's still pretty good. I mean, Kanagawa, um, uh, Lotus, Mystic Veil, these are the Big Book of Madness. I've played all of those, and that's a pretty strong. I'm going to say pretty strong the, field as the well. committee is going to pick Dream House, and the people are going to pick Mystic Veil, maybe. Hmm. Just because of the gimmick, or or again the easy. I don't know. Play. I'm trying to. I don't know which one people like more than the other ones on there. I really enjoyed Kanagawa a lot better than Mystic Veil. Huh. So I don't know. Pretty cool. Miniatures games, okay. Warhammer 40k, tanks, Drop Fleet yeah. Commander. Huh. Oh, it's Warhammer 40k Kill Team. You played that one? No, I haven't. I'm gonna say that Drop Fleet Commander will win because it won like all the awards at UK Games Expo. So why well, would they? It not they do have that. <laughs> Very eye-catching display at their booth, too, so. All right, let's skip collectible games. Although, it's, I think it's funny that the Star Wars one did not make it in there from Fantasy Play. Uh, the, the dice game. The dice game, yeah. Family games. Cartoon Network crossover crisis deck building game, which I think is funny that that's a family game, considering there's a lot of cartoons from the Cartoon Network that are not family-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage Day, Happy Salmon, Junk Art, Karuba, Speechless. Well, it's nice that Speechless is on there, but I don't think it will win. I think that the the group is going to vote for Junk Art, and I think that the people's choice will be Happy Salmon, like, mm. by a mile, because everyone mm. likes Happy Salmon except you. Karuba would be my pick. Game accessories, Blood Rage Organizer. Don't read anything else. <laughs> <laughs> the Blood Rage Organizer <laughs> from Broken Token is amazing. Yes, it is. Uh, it's also rather expensive, but it is amazing, and it does exactly what it was meant to do. All right, so the Origins Awards, you can come out to them last year. They gave everybody who came a free game. I don't know if they're going to do that this year, but yeah. I'm just saying. Uh, Man vs. Meeple is going to... That's a really cool thing. It's like a... It's kind of random. It's almost like a lottery, almost. Right, and that way there's a chance that you can play with somebody, and that way it's not like a, do you want to play with Richard Garfield? And that event fills up in like two seconds flat. <laughs> yeah. Here you fill up, and right. hey, Richard Garfield's there, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, company Gaming Tables... Located just outside the exhibit hall in the main gaming hall. Oh, there's a variety of companies. This is new. So there's different company gaming tables. Like, there used to be Geek Chic had that lounge, remember? Mm -hmm. All their tables. But I bet you, well, who's going to be there? I don't think, Geek and Center Rathscours are not going to be there. So probably North Carolina and... Boardgametables.com or something like that? And Geek Chic, probably. You going to get this game? I'm interested in it. I mean, it's the exact same as the other ones, the no, 1770, except right. that instead of cubes, they have little plastic figures, which is a great <laughs> idea. This looks a little more realistic. Yeah, it does. It looks cool. It's Academy, so I mean, bonus. So open gaming is kind of a weird thing at Origins. It's, it always has been. If you pay your twenty dollars for the board game room ticket, you can play there as long as you want for twenty bucks. Um, and that's not a bad thing to do. There's a big library there, a lot of people to play with. Mm -hmm. You can also go to and play the Origins Awards. You can go play those games for free in the exhibit hall. And in the main gaming hall, you can play at a table as long as the table's not claimed by anyone else, which is kind of a... Claimed? Well, like if this table was a yellow table, you can't play at it. Except that night, when yellow shuts down, then some of their tables might be used. You know what I mean? And there's like yeah. different tables... You can open game at Origins, you just got to be a little canny about it. How about that dragon? Should that have also been on the cover? Yes. <laughs> Macroscope. This is from Mayday Games. This is where you see holes of a picture and you got to figure you, out what it is. You've played this one, right? Yeah, I have. I like it. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's a one-trick pony. Really? You pull off the tokens and then as soon as you know what the picture is, you, you can get gotcha. points. Artemis. If you've never played Artemis, it's super fun. Although I bet it costs money at Origins because everything does. <laughs> laser tag. One of these days we'll play laser tag. And once again, we have a better... A better dragon? A better dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cryptozoic has some new stuff. Spy Foot 1 Ots, actually not that new. Anime events? No. Man, Drop Fleet Commander has really cool pictures. It does. Yeah, they, they Wait, have... What's the difference between Drop Fleet Commander and Drop Zone Commander? Uh, I think... Uh, that drop fleet is a larger fleet wide, and then drop zone, it, it's the actual landing on the planet, and it's the uh, tactical part of it. I think I'm not absolutely positive, but I'm, I think that's right. 
Origins Costume Contest. First of all, if you're involved in that, please come by our booth and we'll let you say shut the door. Yeah. Video. Secondly, if you're not awesome. in a costume, come by our booth and tell us you want to say shut the door. We need some new <laughs> ones. I was told that we need new ones. Um, there's some new Queen games. Glux is amazing. Immortals is not going to be there for sale. I think you can demo it, but we will be playing it live on our channel. Very cool. It looks really cool. The cube tower, I'm already in. Yep. They could have been like, is... there's a cube tower and it's a five hour <laughs> Euro game. I've been like, all right, I'll try it. <laughs> right? Uh, um, five hour Euro game, I don't know. But then I was like, cube tower. You would think uh, about it at least. I guess maybe, yeah. Uh, and you I, said you I were really interested like in Tempor's journey. Yeah. I'm uh, I was about to go uh, crack that open and, and take a look at it after this, yeah. Origins After Dark. I think we'll pass on that. Origins by Night, that's, they sit in the bar, and they, Mike Slinker and James Ernest, and mm -hmm. they talk about stuff. Oh, look at the Lone Shark games. Another dragon. That is better. <laughs> CG is showing off Galaxy Tra Oh, they're 10 years. Wow, I didn't realize they were 10 years old. Codenames Duet is pretty interesting. It's a cooperative two-player game. Very hard. You're going to go to the Cthulhu Fun? <laughs> nope. That's funny. All right. Guild Ball. Have you played Guild Ball yet? Going to play it after Origins. Okay, I'm not I've saying. I've only that. painted the miniatures. I don't know. I'm just I asking. I don't even know if you had it. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at this. They used a picture from. <laughs> that's quite a few hey, years ago. You and Eric. Origins summer preview with the dice tower. It shows a dragon flaming another dragon's butt. <laughs> also better than the front cover. So what does it say? During the show, manufacturers can highlight and demo their products with Tom Bass on the Dice Tower staff. Dice Tower then records and posts and shares these interviews with other fans. Please join Tom, Eric, and the team. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. Please come by our booth. Hey. hey. Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying that name. Are you going to drink one? Um, did you have one last year? I did. I drank a whole bottle last year. I, and I was well, like, so did I. But I was super pumped. Yeah, but you, I don't know. I it, didn't crashed it didn't affect me the way it affected you. It definitely affected me. Origins Deception <clears throat> Game Rooms. That's Deception right. Game Room? This is like Werewolf. Okay. And they, they, they don't want to call it the Werewolf Games Room. <laughs> but uh, you can play <laughs> like uh, Resistance and Two Rooms and a Boom and stuff. Yeah. Tiny Epic Galaxies Expansion. LARPs. There's LARP rooms that you can go into. The Origins Dungeon. I've always thought about doing that sometime, just like going through it. I think I'm, I don't know. What, the LARPing part or just the going through the part. dungeon? Bastion is a good game. It's finally coming from Z-Man Games. The Boardroom. 700 games. 700 games in their library. Hopefully that they're good games, small. though. It does seem small, but they can only bring so many games in, right? Yeah, I guess so. First Look, this is like if you want to... If you don't like playing prototypes and you see First Look, do this. <laughs> Just keep walking. But if you like prototypes, that's where you want to go. Gray Fox Game has made us a... Okay, so if we like fun, yes, then stop by the booth and play some Gray Fox Games. If you don't like fun, why are you here? Well, my partner dragged me here. Okay, well then find a new partner. <laughs> oh my goodness, why are you here? I'm lost. Find the nearest door, open it, and be free. So basically, if you don't like games, and your partner brought you, Actually, they're advocating divorce. What I'm saying here, what I'm seeing here is if you are not here to have fun, you need to leave. <laughs> That's what it feels like. That's exactly what it is. Um, All righty then. Gloom in space. Fairy tale gloom. I think they're really pushing this gloom thing. Uh, yeah. Malifo. I've well, never played that. Well, he is a strapping young lad, isn't he? I don't know if he's young. These, these dice are great, but they're like not that useful. They're, they're metal they're dice. Metal, yeah. And when you roll them, they like land, then they <laughs> stop. Yeah. <laughs> and put a dent in your table. <laughs> Role playing games, the gathering at Origins. Is that Magic the Gathering? There's another dragon. Is this driving you nuts? <laughs> it's <laughs> not, no, it's not driving me nuts, but I mean, there's so many better opportunities. Maybe they were going for a more family friendly. Oh. I didn't know this was happening. I'm out of the RPG world. Starfinder. So this is their space version of Pathfinder. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm guessing, because it's from Paizo. Right, right. Hmm. Interesting. I'd, I'd try it. True Dungeon. You never did do True Dungeon, nope. did you? It's too expensive. It is really expensive. 
Miniatures games, get in the fight, hordes versus war machine, paint and take. Sponsored by Simon. That's cool. It's good that they're stretching out like that. They're going to have uh, besieged figures there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, man. Reaper Bones fourth. I did not back the third edition because I have a drawer in this house here <laughs> full of the second one that no one's ever done anything with. Yeah. Collectible card games. Blood and Plunder. That's also a pretty neat looking game. It I've, is, never, I've not played it's it. It's Kickstarter. It does look good. Oh, that's a cool dragon. Ooh, I would put that on my wall. That's the best dragon in the book for me so far. I would have put it on the front of my program. <laughs> All right, some more Devere games. Dragon. <laughs> hmm. Now, that's a cover. That hmm. should be the cover of the book, right? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. We're a one-note complainer. Yes, we are. Gamma Trade Show 2018, which... A Peppermill Resort Spa Casino in Reno. That actually looks pretty cool. It does. It looks like a very nice place. Oh, look at those rooms. Oh. Nice. Looking good. Origins Trade Day, so you can come in on Wednesday, I believe. Is this when? No, it's Thursday. So this is like if you are a retailer, you can come in and look at different things. A retailer lounge. <coughs> and remember, I met that guy. Um, he, I guess he just died uh, a few months ago, April 18th. I don't know if he was at uh, He was the lawyer. He's Gamma's lawyer, gotcha. essentially. Gotcha. There's the power award things for different stores. None of them are near us. Arizona, Alberta, Colorado, California. What do you do? Boss Monster clubs and organizations. Do you want your club to come? Here are the different clubs. Where's our club? All right, which club has the best logo? We don't have a club. I don't think any of these logos are amazing. Um, yeah, those are... They're okay. not awful, right? Uh, I guess, I mean, maybe the Boar's Head one? Yeah, but isn't that lunch meat? Yeah, so? <laughs> lunch meat's good. All right. Game Masters, Rio Grande has new stuff that they never announced, but it will be there <laughs> Oktoberfest. I think this one's coming in the mail to us. Link, which Z likes a lot. Mm -hmm. Hackmaster, and that is the end of the book. Hackmaster. All right, we'll take a few questions and then we will. All right, here we um, go. Maybe we should uh, delete, Let's see. delete oh. that one. Oh, right. this one right here? Oh, maybe it seems like it should be. Oh, wow, yeah. We're gonna, going to definitely say uh, uh, remove no, or block. block, blink, yeah. All right. All right, so what do we got Hi, here? Hi, guy. Some questions. Sam should cut out dragons from the book and glue them to the front page. That That'd is be hilarious. That is probably <laughs> true. You have a book there, like the real book. And just, <laughs> there's like 20 <laughs> dragons all pasted to it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, I have no formal ties to anything, so as a gamer. Um, <laughs> I guess we're waiting on so, people to catch a up. A couple things. Us. First of all, don't forget to stop by our booth. We have a booth um, that um, it's in the middle of Hall D, so come by. We have uh, promos there. We have a lot of different promos. That if you want to come donate to the Dice Tower, you can get some of those. Or just come by and say hi, say shut the door, whatever. Um, at night, probably at 7 p.m. afterwards, some of us, not all of us, will be in the booth. And then we have our event. It's in Union, Union Hall B. Um, so that's, that's at uh, 8.30 on Saturday night. And then also... If you're a Christian, Sam and I will be participating in the Christian worship service. That's on Sunday morning, and that's mm -hmm. uh, 9, sounds so. And if you're not a Christian, you're still invited. That's true. Sorry. Um, Randy asks, is it weird for one of us fans to stop you all at Origins to ask for a selfie snapshot with, with you? And the answer is no. Well, it feels weird. a little weird still. I'm still not like comfortable with it. But well, I understand that, but it, but it doesn't bother us. Well, we don't. It doesn't bother us. We. It's kind of silly, I guess. It would be a better way to if say. If you see it. me with For, a our, giant stack of games, on our and perspective, I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. then, then maybe wait. But yeah, it might be better. That, sure. Right. Um, Tommy Thickpin says, "I heard Z thought the stream might go over an hour, which is too long." <laughs> wow, well, he's he's not even here to defend himself, Tommy. Come on, man. Um, all right, so that's that's it. We have for a uh, wait. We got no other questions. Not yet. Come on, guys. Give Not us yet. Questions. They're they're. I mean, they're. You're you're still uh, blathering on up there. Um, Soul board game convention at the end of July. You two should stop by, please. Man, we'd love to. 
I promise. That's a long trip. It is a long trip. For a weekend. It's expensive and all, but yeah. man, I would love to go to that. Sorry. A long time ago, Tom mentioned flick charts for board games. Is that idea still brewing somewhere? In my head? Really? Mm. I really like the idea, but it just hasn't come out, out yet. I do not have a collection of hats. Um, You've got a couple hats over my, I do have some. My favorite hat is, is uh, my... No, actually, I left that one by accident last year on the train uh, coming back to Heathrow. Really? Yeah, I did. Um, but my favorite one right now is my Cubs um, World Series champions hat. Sam never did like the Cubs originally, but this year he started liking them. Now they won. Everybody out there knows that's not true. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, let's see, which games are you looking forward to preview the most? On the preview side of things? I don't know, man. There's a lot of games that I'm interested in, but yeah, I know it's it's. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just it feels like we were just doing this, you know, and we kind of just were. So it all blurs together. It all sometimes. blurs together, right? So it's hard. Um, is your show in the same place as the Origins Award Show? Yes, it is. Uh, with dueling being legalized in Canada, could this be used as an acceptable tiebreaker? Can we go to the widescreen? Um, dueling is legal in Canada now? All right, I got to look this up. Dueling. We are fact legal checking you, sir. Canada. Or ma'am. Sir. It might be legal soon to challenge someone to a duel in Canada. <clears throat> like with guns or swords? Uh, it's been illegal. The penalties for breaking this law are two years in prison. Parliament introduced legislation. What? No. Why would okay, they no, do it says, this? It's legal to challenge someone to a duel, but the consequences would still be illegal. Oh, so you're so allowed to duel, but if you shoot if the guy... If you kill somebody, <laughs> you're no, going if, to jail. Even if you wound him, it's assault with a deadly yeah, weapon. Yeah, it is. So I guess you could challenge someone to duel with water guns? <laughs> so that's currently illegal? Where's the fun Sir, in that? Challenge. Where's that fun in that? <laughs> well, what was the question, though? Uh, is that acceptable as a tiebreaker? Yes. Um, <laughs> if your kids... Wanted to eat in German Village, try Walters at the... Oh, no, he's calling us. If you kids. Yes, I know. Thanks, old man. Uh, or Schmitz. Schmitz is the place that I want to go to. Then you can go. We can go. They close down the hall sometimes in the afternoon, right? Six. What is there to do after that? Hall D, where we are, and it has a lot of uh, publishers and stuff, does mm -hmm. not close till 1 a.m. Yeah. So you can go in there. I mean, the Origins technically never shuts down, even when Hall D is shut down, in which case you should be in bed. But even when Hall D shuts down, there's still, you can play out in the big halls. There's always the RPG rooms I don't think ever shut down. In fact, right. we know this because I would come through like at 7 in the morning and see guys there, and I know they didn't wake up earlier than me. They just never they may went have. to bed. <laughs> may have. I highly it doubt that Tom gets up at 6. Uh, what is the food schedule? I know you usually plan this stuff, Kabuki Kid says. Uh, when we first land, when we first... Running. Hit the ground running. Well, no, we're going to drop off our stuff. Yes. And then we are going to um, North Market, right? Sure. Actually, I don't have a lot of plans this time food-wise. I mean, I got some plans, but there's different meals. I don't know necessarily where we're eating. But for lunch every day, <laughs> pretty much guaranteed it's North Market. Mm. It's, the, it's really fast to get to. We did it last year. You guys went for an hour for lunch. You were able to get over there, get your food, and come back. Okay. Right? Sure. Would you say most attendees at Origins are from the local Origins area or from out of state, out of the country? I think most are from out of state. Really? Mostly. I know there's a lot from the local area, but I wouldn't say most. Yeah. I think most are from out of state. There's a lot of people. Uh, is Dice Tower going to do any live feeds this week while at Origins? If so, which ones are they scheduled? There's a schedule if you go to Board Game Geek. Or if you go to our official <coughs> main webpage, dicetower.com, at the top, just look for the Origins thing, click it, and it will give you our whole schedule. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the Eric Martin list on BGG? Any thoughts? I mean, of new games coming out at Origins? Um, let me pull this one up here. We can quick, we'll do a quick zoom through of this. Zoom, zoom. All right, geek lists. 
Wow, I feel at, ways I feel out of touch with other gamers. Ways I feel in touch with other gamers. <laughs> there it is. All right, Derek, put me back on. We'll do a quick run through of this, and then we're going to end the stream because we got a pack. So, that was just like a super good. Well, let's see. Let me browse through here while you're looking at it. Do most booths take credit card? Yes. Yeah, it didn't used much. to be that way, but now most booths take credit card. In fact, we need to make sure that we can do that too. Yeah. Um, is another review light week? It is. Sorry. Not a lot of reviews coming this week. Correct. But I will make up for it. I promise. <laughs> All right. Um, here we go. Are we on? On this one? Yeah. All right. French and Indian War, that's not a new game, so I'm only looking at new stuff. Although. Onitama Expansion, that's kind of new. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'd like that. Spoils of War, you really enjoyed that one. Yes. Divinity Derby. This is, oh, just previewing. I'm skipping all this preview stuff. Hunt for the Ring. Okay, I'm not skipping all of it. I'm actually really intrigued with this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's a hidden movement game where one person, I, I like that idea. That's yeah. a great theme to do it with, too. Sword and Sorcery, we already mentioned that one. Wings of Glory, more stuff. Cursed Court. Oh, it's only a demo game? That's a problem. Where there's like oh, so many demo games. Oh, wait. We should be using this one. We should be using... Um, tabletop Together. Tabletop Together. Yeah, let's go there. Tabletop. Oh, you can leave it on. I'll, I'll show people. Because I really like Tabletop Together. All right. So there's UK's... Games Expo. I thought he did. Um, all right. Tabletop Together Tool. So that's right here. What's that? Tabletop Together Tool is the tool that we use. Let me, I'm going to slide this over slightly. I think I'm off a little. There we go. Well, I guess everyone in the world is using this tool currently. <laughs> well, you did just show... Uh, 359 people <laughs> where you were All right, going. Here we go. Here's the tool. Welcome to Tabletop Together <laughs> Tool. Let's log in. Don't look at my password. I, I, I guess covering it up here. His password is dot, 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 dot. Choose a convention. I'll make Origins my default convention. All right. So this is actually using the same list from Eric Martin, but it's just a lot easier to go through. So, and we'll see here. It will tell you sometimes if it's going to be there or not. So, filtering and sorting, demos, exclude demo games. All right, there we go. So, instead of there being 190, now it's 180. That didn't really... Uh, wow. Yeah, right, sure. Venture and expansion, great. Affliction, Salem 1692. Aunt Alice Somatic Heroes? I'm surprised they're still making expansions for Alien Uprising. I didn't think it did that well for Mr. B Games. Mm. Arena for the Gods. That one I approve of. I like that one a lot. More stuff for Ascension. Big shocker there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Attack on Titan, the last stand. I didn't know this was going to be there. Have you seen... Uh, you don't, you haven't seen have you seen the I, cartoon Attack of the Titans? Yeah, well, I, I know of it. I've not watched the entire thing. But it's a pretty gruesome cartoon. It is, yes. Uh, but anyway, in this one, one person's a Titan, and yeah. the other people are attacking them. And right. it's by... Uh, Bowser and Ludovic Montblanc, which yeah, they, is a yeah, good Yeah, they, they, they showed it to us at Gamma. Oh, did they? Yeah. Banana Bandits, I'm not a big fan of. Baseball highlights, more stuff. Battle Blakes. That's really bad artwork. Hmm. Baron Park. We've not played that yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Bemused. It's okay, deduction game. Betabots. I was not a big fan of that one, actually. Bigfoot versus Yeti. Hmm. I thought they were the same thing. No, Yeti is uh, uh, snow. Bigfoot is anywhere. I put my money on Bigfoot because he seems smarter than the Yetis. Yeti seem like mindless creatures, like Rawr. Oh, okay. Bigfoot seems smart. Batman. He, Bigfoot is the Batman of hidden creatures. He, well, he is the uh, all-time reigning champion at hide-and-seek. No, it's Waldo. No, people found Waldo. Yeah, people found Waldo. We can't find Bigfoot. He leaves right. footprints everywhere. Biotics right? is actually a pretty fun game. 
Bonanza the Duel. Did you play this one yet? Nope. You have this one, though. I know he does. I don't. Brutal think Kingdom. I think Z played this one and liked it. Or no, I don't remember. I don't recall. Can't Stop Express. It seems to be the most unnecessary game on Earth. <laughs> no, I mean, Can't Stop is already, like, a really fast game. True. What do you, and Can't Stop well, Express. Well, the way you play it. You roll, <laughs> well, no, but I mean, even if you don't. <laughs> no, so Can't Stop Express, you roll dice. You're like, do you want to keep going? Yes. You win or you lose. It's a, it's a two-turn game. I don't true. know anything about it. Caverna Cave vs. Cave, it's good. Century Spice Road is great. City of the Big Shoulders. City of the Big Shoulders? Bring it. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Coal Country, worst cover of all time. Conan, Rise of Monsters. That's from Pulposaurus Entertainment. Does that sound good? There already is a Conan game out there, folks. Yeah, that's a thing. I don't know if it's going to be... Cottage Garden, Cursed Court, DC Deck Builder game, more stuff. Deadline. Deadline looks interesting. I like the pulp fiction of the cover. Delve. Destiny Aurora. Oof, look at that playtime. Where? Destiny Aurora. Where's the playtime? Two to three hours. Who's making that one? BMB Game Studio? And Delve is uh, Rich Lonnie's and Pete Shirey. Oh. Remember all those times, Pete, that you made fun of us? I don't even care if the game's good. Even if it's good, I'm saying it's bad. Wow. No, I won't. Hopefully it's good. Because <laughs> now that I've said that, I've kind of boxed myself. Yeah, in, right? yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> nice spot, Mega Fun. I do not like that game. Divinity Derby. Dragon Term is a pretty cool looking game from Haba. Have you played that yet? I did. I mean, it's, 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 it's a kid's game, obviously. You are, there's this dragon pulling this string and the yeah. whole tower falls down. Dynamite Nurse. That just doesn't sound good at all. It's, uh, that's, nope. Once again, one of those games that when someone sees it in your shelf, you're like, well, I'm, uh, we're reviewers and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right, you immediately have to justify it. Z likes Element. Escape from 100 million BC. Have you reviewed this yet? I've not, um, mainly just because I haven't been able to uh, fi uh, carve out the time for it. But it is an interesting game. I was able to play it uh, with Kevin at uh, the gathering, so it's it's uh, decent. Ethnos and Exit are both going to get a lot of love because of how hot they are right now. Both of yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. There's that Fan Hunter Urban Warfare Fantasy Realms, guys. This game is really fun. I really did not expect this game to be good. I really like it. Hmm. Fast food fear, you should fear it. Fields of Green, Flatline is a fun game. Frog Riders, we talked about already. Gardens of Mars, this is from Big Kid Games. Yeah. Oh, this is, okay, I played Gardens of Mars, I think, when it was, this is from Nestor. Yes. He normally makes them the little Nestor game. This is a much bigger, nicer production. Mm -hmm. Gascani's Legacy, this is a musketeer game with a really bad cover. I'm sorry, that's a bad cover. You actually cover. get to play the musketeers in it? I don't know. That would be nice. Hmm. Giga Dog, Get the Cheese, Ghost Catchers. Ghost is like one of those themes that's coming now. Yeah. Glass Road, Gridstones. That's weird. Oh, I played Gridstones. That's, that's not a new game. I played Gridstones at least two years ago. Hmm. Harry Hopper. That must be a kid's game. Hassel Connect, the Ruhr Valley. That's a coal game, heavy euro game. Heart of Crown. How I oh, we, this, we've been sitting on that one for a while, right? We uh, have that game for sure. I don't know. Honshu, Iron Dragon, Island Hopper, Jiraku, Jungle Party. Another Cosmos Kids game. Junk in my trunk. <laughs> All right. I'm getting that one just because of the name. And I'm, I'm glad gonna... it has an elephant on it with junk sticking out of his trunk. Worst possible anniversary gift ever. <laughs> Honey? I bought you a game. <laughs> you, you get to leave with a black eye after that one. Exactly. <laughs> Kaiju Crush. Well, this is from Fireside Games. Yeah. I like their stuff. I'm hoping this one's good. Mm hmm Kerala, that's a good game from Cosmos. King of the Creepies. <laughs> well, I remember reading about this one. It's a really weird name, though. Who's publishing it? Doesn't have a name. Unknown. King Domino. King Sport Festival card game. Wasn't a big fan of that. Kitten Clash. Lagoonies, La Havre is back. Is that a reprint? Yeah, they reprinted okay. it. But from what I can tell, it's pretty much the same game. All right. Lorenzo and Magnifico, which is a really fun game, but you would never know it. Based on that cover, right? Love means nothing. 
which if you just read the title would be bad. Yes. But it shows tennis. But it's designed by Matt Fantastic. Ah, so, got it. Yeah, but Matt did it. So oh. how much am I bet it's not a, a game for two couples? You get to review this. No. <laughs> Madness at Midnight. It's from Richard Lanius. He told me he was excited about this one. It's from Mr. B Games, though, so I hope that the components are better. The cover is mm. just not doing it for me there. Modern Art, we played that. It's a new version. Moons, yeah. Near and Far. Very good. New York Slice. New York Slice is a good one, too. No Caboose. I'm going to put that next to the junk in my truck. Okay. <laughs> Pick. <laughs> Pick. Choose wisely. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, I played Okie dokie. Um, Oktoberfest, One Night Ultimate Alien. So you can hear Eric Summer talk again. <laughs> Orleans Expansion. That's a great expansion. Get it. Outlawed is a decent game. Overlords of Infinity. Paramedics Clear from Smirk and Dagger. Which I think, if I remember reading about this correctly, that it's not his typical stab people in the back, which would be really bad. Like, I'm trying to save this guy. Well, I wonder why. I mean, you're paramedics for I, crying out loud. I give your guy poison while you're trying to save him or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pinball Showdown. Now, this one I'm... I love pinball. I mean, I really love pinball. But I doubt that pinball can be made into a good board game. Mm-hmm. Perlock Holmes, I hate this name of this game so very much. Perlock Holmes, yeah. I hate it. Ray Guns and Rocket Ships, Rick and Morty, Anatomy Park of the Game. It's a funny episode. Rocky Road Alamoda is a good game. Russian Bash is good. Samara, I haven't played yet, but I've heard good things about it. Sure Look is fun. Sam would hate it, but it Sure Look is good. Yeah. Side Real Confluence, we just got that, but we haven't played it yet. <laughs> Skyway Spirit Island, we just. Oh no, we didn't play this one live. No, we didn't. But we just played Spirit Island. It's really intriguing, Spirit Island. This is yeah. a very heavy cooperative game. I don't know, I shouldn't say very heavy. No, it's not very heavy. But it's... It's on the heavier side. It's on the heavier game. side. There's a lot going on in this game where you are spears trying to stop people from coming in and colonizing your island. And you are doing so by, like, flooding them and setting them on fire and scaring them half to death. It's actually pretty fun, actually. That, yeah. the, I think the theme of the game is fun. It's like, it's like you're actually playing nature. You're playing this, the, the very final scene of Avatar, basically. <laughs> right, yeah. Sports Dice Baseball. Uh, steal the Show. Theatrical Party Card Game. Stroop. I heard about Stroop. Stroop is like based on that, where Stroop the word is written in red, but it says blue. Oh, I hate those games. Sword and Sorcery. Teddy Heads. Hey, my brother-in-law did that one. Uh, no. That's two S's. Yes. The Banishing. Oh, I played The Banishing. The Man, Z-Man has a lot of new games there. The Fox and the Forest. That sounds very austere. The Godfather's going to be there? Mm. <laughs> All right. Hunt for the Ring, Lost Expedition, Energy Empire. That's a good game. Palace of Mad King Ludwig. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying that one out, too. Yeah. The Refuge, A Race for Survival. The Terrifying Girl Disorder. <clears throat> Uh, it just sounds funny. This war of mine will be there. I just reviewed that one. If you are like feeling, if if you're at Origins and you're and you're like and you're like guys, we are in too good of a mood. <laughs> <laughs> then play this war of mine. <laughs> Tower at Camelot. You've been looking at this one. Uh, what's that? Tower at Camelot. Tournament. Tournament at Cam Camelot. Yeah. You've been messing with this one. Yes, I have. Uh, Ultimate Werewolf Hunting Party. Unfair. on real estate. Vast. The Crystal Caverns. Nightmare Unicorn. Is that like another player? Veggie Garden. Where words? I'll probably grab that one. Word Slam. Wordsy. Word Championship. Russian Roulette. Rodoku. And Zombies 15. This is the 15. That is crazy. Dang. Another one bites the dust. All right. Doom, doom, Folks, doom. we got to get going here because we got to go pack doom, doom, and prepare doom. for Origins. Um, so we hope to see you there. Come by and say hi to us. Yes. Um, and if you can't come to Origins, watch our live streams. We'll be starting at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Uh, it's Eastern Standard Time. Sorry yeah. we can't answer more questions, but we really need to get going. Oh, Stroop. Yes. Reminds me of waffles. Yes, Stroop waffles. All right, that's good. Okay, anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. Sam Healy. And you've been watching The Dice Tower. Adios.